are live. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is our regularly scheduled team call for the Fit Club Network, which is my group of people uh, and my good friend and, I don't know, mentor, uh, com competitor, uh, partner, <laughs> I don't know who we are. But, uh, we, uh, we get along really, really well. We've done a lot of cool stuff together. And Jimmy um, uh, invited his team. It's actually his idea. It seemed like a great time to kind of just refocus on the comp plan and, and get back. Let's get back to the basics of this thing. We're in another launch right now. We're coming into Summit. The timing was really, really good. And I'm never going to say no when Jimmy asked me to jump on a call with him. Um, so at the outset of this, I have, I have a little story that I want to tell. And hold on, I just got to do that. Um, so I'm in, this, I'm in this group for guys. And it's, it's not Beachbody related. It's like a men's support group. It's a guy who runs a podcast. I was in his mastermind for a while. Uh, and, you know, it's a Facebook group, right? So every now and then something sparks some controversy. And, oh, my God, we got to go and, you know, fly off the handle. This one was so interesting to me. So this morning, this guy who I don't know posted this picture of a guy farming and like, he's got like a side and he's like, he's, he's farming. And, and then there's the story about this farm. And the story about the farmer is that this farmer was uh, really successful. This guy had like some blue ribbon corn. He was winning all the awards at the corn show or wherever you do corn awards. And he, uh, he, he got a higher price for his corn at the marketplace. And at some point, having all of this success, he decided that he was going to give his neighbors, who were also corn growers and were his competition, and they would love to take the awards away from him and get a higher price for their corn market, decides he's going to give his neighbors some of his blue ribbon corn seed so that they can have blue ribbon corn too. And uh, so the story goes, somebody goes to talk to this guy and says, now, why would you do that? Why would you give your blue ribbon corn to your competition. And I guess says, well, first of all, I don't think you really understand how corn farming works because we have this thing called wind and the wind is going to blow some of my seed into their fields anyway. So they're going to get some of my seed, whether I want them to or not. But here's the bigger thing. If my neighbors are growing inferior corn, their corn is going to blow into my field. And it's going to contaminate my blue ribbon corn. It won't be blue ribbon corn for very long. And if their corn is weak, it's, you know, subject to like insects and stuff. And then they're going to have to use pesticides. All that stuff's going to blow onto my blue ribbon corn. Pretty soon I'm not going to have any blue ribbon corn. Now, the, the concept here, I hope, is pretty simple to understand, right? It's that if you help the people around you to be successful, you will be successful. In fact, you'll be more successful than you would be if you didn't help those people. Now, I think this is a pretty easy concept. I remember the first, the first time I ever heard this that really like clicked with me was Zig Ziglar. And Zig Ziglar has a saying that if you help enough people get what they want, you can have anything you want. That was the first time I heard that and I was like, oh, I think I understand how this all works. My job is to help other people get what they want. Now, that wasn't the interesting part. Here's the really interesting part about this story is that people started to attack the guy who posted the picture of the blue ribbon corn farmer. And I'm like, what? Why are you, you're attacking this guy? Why? Oh, well, don't bring your socialism into our group and contaminate it with your commie ideas. I'm like, no, that's not socialism. Socialism would be the government going to the blue ribbon corn farmer and saying, hey man, we passed a new law. You need to give your blue ribbon corn farm seed to the other farmers so that everybody can be even. That's socialism. This is the corn farmer going, if I help enough people get what they want, I can have whatever I want. Mm -hmm. But what happened there? The guys, the guys in this group just went like that. They just said, nope, 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 nope. Idea, that idea is uncomfortable for me. It's counter to what I've been told my whole life. I can just go like this and name it an ism that everybody hates. And then it just goes away and I never have to deal with the idea. Right. So I decide I'm going to engage in this process. And I and I decide to tell them a story of what's happening right now that, hey, you know, maybe try things a different way. Like, first of all, look at the resistance you have. To, it's just an idea like, you know, a it's not socialism, but B, it's just an idea. Why does it scare you so much that you have to lash out in this way? But B, here's how I run my business. <laughs> 
And in a couple of hours, I'm going to get on a call with a guy who's huge competition for me. And I'm going to help his people who are also competition for me and my people. And he's going to help my people who are also competition for him and his people. But guess what? There's plenty for all of us. It's not that I need to give you guys some seed because somebody told me that I need to share. It's that there's plenty for everybody. That's the, that's the point of this whole thing is that there's plenty for everybody. Now, this is a great story about corn, and I understand you guys are, now you know all about corn farming, and that's fantastic. Here's the point, okay? The point of this story is that if you don't understand this mindset, if you do not understand the concept of if you help ever, enough people get what they want, you can have whatever you want, you will always butt heads with our compensation plan. This, you, you'll be one of those people that spends most of their time thinking about how many sales Beachbody stole from you on Amazon or infomercial or wherever they're marketing. You'll be one of those people who does the saddest thing I've ever seen, which is that you personally sponsor some fantastic person in this business and they do better than you and they pass you. So you sabotage your relationship with that person and try to bring them down to your level. Okay. If you want to win here, the best thing that can happen for you is people like Cindy Tremblay in our organization, Tulin and Jimmy's organization who pass you. <laughs> That's the best thing that can happen for you if you understand this concept that what we do here and our compensation plan is just designed to implement Beachbody's mission statement, which is to help people achieve their goals and live healthier and more fulfilling lives. So we have a comp plan, which we're going to go through because there are some technical little things that I think will help you maximize this that Jimmy and I could talk about. We've been teaching this stuff for a long time. But fundamentally, if you don't get that, and you don't understand that on Thursday morning, there's no line item in my paycheck or Jimmy's paycheck for doing this call. It's not there. You can't find it. Yet, this is what we get paid to do. Okay? And you have to, there's an act of faith there and some understanding that's fundamental to getting this whole thing and what we do. So that is my little introduction to the conceptual uh, basis of the comp plan. Now, I want to turn it over to Jimmy and Jimmy talk a little bit maybe about that or kind of whatever you you think is relevant on like a you know 30,000 foot level. No, I think it was a perfect setup. And really why I wanted to get to this is I think for people, you know, I just celebrated my 11 year anniversary as a coach on June 1st. And I have to remind myself of the education process of this at times that and think about it the same way for you. I don't care if you've been a coach for a week or a couple of days. You have a different mindset and a different skill set than your, your audience who's never crossed the line or like we say, drank the blue Kool-Aid, right? Like we all know Beachbody On Demand is great. We start using acronyms like BOD and Emerald and Diamond and SC points. And to the outside world, all of those things mean nothing, right? And it really wasn't until... And I was guilty of this early on. And, and Dave and I have a very interesting way that we both came into this business. And the notes that I was taking while he was talking was I wasn't looking for a business. My, my business brain was, I, I really think that I've always been much more street smart than book smart. Uh, there's very little analytics that go on up here as numbers, charts, how things work. Um, I just kind of wing it and go with my gut, which is sometimes does all fantastic for me. And there's other times that I miss out on a lot of opportunity because I don't take the time to ask the simple questions. And I think one of the questions that many, many, many people in the entire network are stopping, don't ask is, wait, how well do we get paid? And outside, you know, we're going to go through all of them here. You know, we have, we have a very extensive list so I hope that you're taking notes, and obviously this will be recorded, and Dave just shared a document um, inside the chat box, and for those that are catching this on a replay, I'm sure we'll post this link below wherever this happens to be hosted. But it wasn't until I understood how it all worked that things really took off for me. And it wasn't necessarily about the money, because what I was going to say is I got into this looking for a community and stumbled onto a business. Dave looked at this and thought, I'm a lawyer. This isn't a legit business. I, I have a real job and I'm part of a real business. This little silly thing there. But then he, he, he educated himself 
seeing it as a business opportunity and found a community. And so I get lots of people. In fact, I just had a friend of mine from college message me right before I got on here saying, I'm thinking about being a coach. I really don't think, you know, I don't know that I'm really looking to make any money. And I get that a lot. I really do. It's like, I don't know if I want to make any money, but I think the accountability piece would help me or the community would help me. And all that's great. There's not a right or wrong way to get in this business. But once you're in and you decide you want to do something with this, even if it's something as simple as I would love to earn my Shakeology free every month. Cool. There are rules on how to do that. And there are easy and harder ways to earn that Shakeology free every month. There's, there's the, and we'll get into this more. There's the hustle your face off mode where it's sell, 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 sell. sell and therefore I'm going to get my Shakeology free. That, that's one way to do it. And you may go through this. And the cool thing about what we're going to go through today is you can learn to master all of this and take this thing and say, I understand the cog and how it all works together and jump with that. You may take one little piece and say, you know what? I think I can jam right here for this season of my career as a coach. And it changes. I've had my retail seasons. I've had my team building seasons uh, and, and my, my quarterly bonus seasons. We, we'll get into that. And so, what, but before you can make a decision on how you run this thing, how to treat a business like a business, and you know, a, a phrase that Dave and I were taught early on is if you treat this like a hobby, it will pay you like a hobby. If you treat this like a business, it'll, it'll pay you like a business. And that doesn't necessarily mean more time. That just means how you're educated and what those activities are that you're doing. So we wanted to set this up and quit taking, I just, I had to stop taking for granted. Well, they know how this works. And I was like, no, somebody had to sit down and teach this to me. And usually I had to hear it multiple times. So however you're taking this in, you know, I may visit this once a week, twice a month. You know, it, it's, it's not about taking a class once. You know, when I got really good at things, it was when I listened to the same audios or trainings enough to where I kind of could repeat it or finish sentences for them. So Dave, I would love to just, you know, from the top of this thing is, and, and hopefully people have the image. I have it here on my desktop as well. If we ever need to like share a screen, you may already have that up and rolling as well. Um, but do we just want to lay out all the ways to get paid and then hit each one individually? How, how would you like to attack this first? Yeah, I, I think that's good. I think what, what, what might, might be helpful here and, and it, is just a little bit of a discussion, right? Because I sure. think it comes up in, in two ways, the, the, first, of the value for the people watching the call anyway. The, the first one is, you know, first of all, what you just talked about, like when you said, hey, we should do a call on the comp plan. I'm like, yeah, of course, dummy. Like, duh. like we don't talk, I don't talk about it enough. I assume you guys all right. know it, right? Because I know it. And then you forget these things. So that's a really good point. But um, I think it comes up kind of two ways. The first one is understanding it for yourself, right? So that you can do what Jimmy is just talking about. Hey, let's maximize it and let's kind of see where you're at right now. And what are the, some things you might be able to take advantage of right now in this particular season, as Jimmy put it, which I like. Um, the second way is how do you explain it to other people? You know, and, and I think that that's one of the things that people struggle with the most is that I know when people used to ask me, you know, how do you get paid or what do you do for a living or any questions like that? I just went like, ah, yeah, yeah, and just, ah. and the message that you send to people is really not a good one, right? It, it's basically either this person's too stupid to understand what they do for a living or there's something fishy here, right? Which is where the pyramid thing kind of just snowballs on you. So I think that's, that's maybe uh, one thing we could cover there is, you know, when, when somebody asks you, like, if you were going to explain the compensation plan, in a, in a, just a concise way, right? Like how do we get paid, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're asking me yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can... so I always tell people we get paid multiple ways. That's a great thing. And it always starts with, I always, I work like if I'm trying to pick fruit off a tree, like what's the lowest hanging fruit. Yeah. And this is probably how most of you probably advertise people coming in as a coach. And it's probably a lower hanging fruit because I'm assuming a lot of people recruit by saying, let me offer you a discount. So in some ways that's money back in your pocket, right? So let's start there. I guess that's a way to earn. You're saving yourself money that you would have spent. And where I find it very interesting is I talk to coaches all the time when I do one-on-one -on -one saying, man, my organization's not doing a whole lot. And I say, cool, tell me about your, your recruiting process. Where does that come from? And this is the one I hear a lot of times. I run really decent challenge groups. I sell a certain number of challenge packs. They get in, they have success. And at the end of that challenge group, I invite them to be a coach because I tell them there's a 25% discount. 
Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Unless you want a team that actually wants to put some effort in and work because I used to do the same thing. And the analogy I use is that is like, and hopefully everybody here has Sam's Club or Costco, right? These big warehouse things where you pay a fee, you get a discount. That's like if Costco sold me a membership that I was very excited about that I could get mountains of toilet paper for really, really cheap. And I walk into the Costco and they hand me a broom. And I go, whoa, why are you handing me a broom? Oh, we'd like you to sweep the corners in order to and, and enjoy your discount. I was like, no, 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 no. You didn't advertise work. You advertised cheap toilet paper. <laughs> and so therefore, <clears throat> I don't want to do any work. Yeah. And so I know we're talking comp plan, but this all ties together. It does. it does. So a lot of the ways that I change my language when talking about this, even if I'm looking for people that just want to save money, that may not want to build a huge network marketing organization, because I really feel very few people come into this thinking, I'm going to build a giant team, Yeah. right? This thing is in steps and in seasons, like I talked about before. But if I say, hey, you're doing great in the challenge group. You're having amazing results. I love the fact that you've been posted on your Instagram or your Facebook. I want to make sure that your results continue as long as you want to be in this. Would you be interested in learning how you can earn your Shakeology free, your, 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 you know, the subsequent months after this? That tiny little difference between do you want a 25% discount? And if we sat down and I showed you an easy way to earn your Shakeology for free, at least put something in their mind that there's a bit of effort involved, right? It's not just that. So I always say that. And the first thing I always talk about is because, and I think it's easier now with things like Amazon affiliates and butcher box and damn near everything has some kind of affiliate program. Now I say we have an affiliate program that pays a very handsome 25% retail commission on anything people purchase because of you. And Dave, I don't know about you. Like, I don't know many other affiliate programs that pay a 25% commission. And it's it's 40% on BOD. Right. It's 40% on BOD. And we're going to get into all this. And I guess the percentage is right somewhere in the middle on a challenge pack. Yeah, like 36% on a challenge pack. And most of them are like Amazon affiliate. It's like 2 to 4%. Right. <laughs> and I think you have a great way to talk. So as we continue to expand this, how do you get paid? Uh, you've, always told, you've always had a very interesting way of putting this when it came to team building. And kind of how you describe what you do. You know, you were talking about talking to family or trying to explain, like, well, how does this work? If you want to go into, so number one, we say you earn retail, right? Anything you refer, if somebody buys through your link, you get a retail commission. Yeah, I try. Yeah. So, so if, if we're having a conversation, right, the mistake I used to make was somebody would show a glimmer of interest and I would pounce on them, right? And I would give them every bit of information because I thought it would make me seem smart. It doesn't work. What I've learned to do is slow down with people and say, okay, yeah, here's how we get paid. We get paid two ways. The first is retail and we earn mostly 25%. Some things like BOD, if they're a BOD member and they know what that means, then I'll say some things like BOD are up to 40%. The second way we get paid is based on the productivity of our team. If I teach other people how to do the first thing and they're good at it, then I can earn bonuses based on their productivity, right? And, and then as if, they're in, if they show some more interest, I keep talking. If they go, oh, that's great, and walk away, I don't go, hey, wait a minute, let me tell you all about the great story I've got about selling refrigerators, right? Which is the yeah. next story that I'll typically tell, right? Is the refrigerator thing. Like if I own a refrigerator store, there's a couple of different ways I could run the refrigerator store. This is what I told my grandfather when I was explaining to him how this business works. And I just told him, I'm like, look, I could be, the best refrigerator salesman on the his, in the history of refrigerator salesman. And I could be the first guy in the door in the morning and the last guy out on the, out on, the, on, on the floor at night. And I could be there on Father's Day running the Father's Day sale and Labor Day running that sale and sell a ton of refrigerators because I could do that. Or I could continue to sell refrigerators part-time and spend the rest of my time teaching other people how to sell refrigerators. That's what we do. <laughs> okay, what we do is... You have to keep learning. You have to keep focused. All the stuff Jimmy is just talking about and keep growing and keep getting better and keep supporting people and doing all that stuff. Meanwhile, teaching other people how to do it. A lot of people never teach. <laughs> they just do the thing. And we've got some fantastic coaches on our team. And I'm sure Jimmy does too, who just, they do that really well. I mean, they, they retail really well. 
They huge. They run huge groups. They get fantastic results for their people. I mean, they really do, and they deserve to take advantage of the second piece of the compensation plan. But it what it requires is some teaching. And Jimmy can do that a lot. I can do that a lot. There are other people around. There's lots of training, right? We've always said there's no shortage of training, right? <laughs> if you're hungry, you'll figure it out. But when you can teach your people that skill, that's when I think the thing kind of takes off. So that's how we talk about it. I, I like your idea of maybe just kind of going through the four streams. If you've got this document, it will, I think, help guide you through this discussion. And this honestly is just a handy document to have, <laughs> you know, like it, it's handy and it's in the, it's in the coach online office. I've also given you guys the link. And I would like to set up real quick. You're taking notes. Go ahead and just make yourself a little bulleted list there. This is also for our sake of keeping us on task because Dave and I tend to get on tangents at times. <laughs> uh, so, and tell me if I leave anything out here, Dave, what I have written down here is ways to earn retail. We've already tested a little bit, but we'll, 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 can, we'll cover all these in completion uh fast start bonus which dave and i were talking about earlier today which i think a lot of people forget about yep team cycle bonus how you earn by building a team that is active that is doing things besides simply in it for the discount with the matching bonuses and why a rank like diamond is crucial and uh, not just for status or a t-shirt or to have your name called on a national wake-up call but why the rank of diamond really opens up the entire playbook for you when it comes to this business. The quarterly bonus, what that means. Uh, we're going to talk about some numbers and a quarterly bonus is going to blow your mind. that I couldn't wrap my head around. And it still shocks me that um, I've earned all of the, those bonuses multiple times. And I know early on, I just assume like, oh, that's for some other person with a network marketing PhD. Really is available to anybody. Once you understand how it works, it doesn't become so intimidating and impossible. It isn't just a rank or this name, right? Um, and then if time, time, uh, if we have enough time at the end, I also want to talk about what is carryover volume. And yeah. you may be sitting on basically the way I look at it is a savings account that you just don't have the access code to yet. And it just takes some simple understanding and strategy of building how to do that. And maybe Dave, depending on how much time we have here, maybe, maybe we, we come back after summit and do uh, a, a bit more, maybe it is strategy of building type type call, you know, as, as we're kind of taking the, the big view of this as well. So I'm going to throw it back to you um, as, as the more numbers of us and let you talk about retail and this fast start bonus and kind of how those two things play together. Yeah, I think retail is obviously, you know, Jimmy talked about low, low hanging fruit. That's retail, like retail and, and why. It's really simple. Why? W what are we doing? We're sharing stuff that we have a belief system in, right? So if I've taken Shakeology and it's helped me lower my blood sugar, or I've done, you know, Lift 4 or ADD Obsession or 2D Mindset or one of those programs and had all this result, like you can't contain that. <laughs> and it's just a matter of sharing it. That's really, it's, it's really easy because you have such a strong belief system in that, which is why everything really starts at retail. It also builds a customer base for you, which at least for me has always been where I'm going to find my coaches. You know, I found a few others outside of that. For the most part, it's from my customer base. They're, they're also loyal. So they buy more stuff, but retail, pretty simple, straightforward structure. Again, 20 25% on most things is going to be your commission, which is also your discount, right? Depending on how you look at it, commission, commission on things you sell, discount on things you buy is usually going to be 25% on just about everything. A few small ex exceptions to that. The first one is going to be a challenge pack. Challenge packs vary a little bit with, you know, depending on what's on sale and kind of all that different moving parts. But generally the average of a challenge pack is about 36%. So if you take that Shakeology sale, which would normally get you 25%, which is about 30 bucks, right? Like retail is 130, a wholesale is 97. So it's in that's your commission is the difference. You take that and you add a BOD membership to it. All of a sudden you've taken that commission from 25% up to about 36%, depending on, again, you know, all those different little factors, right? BOD memberships are 40%. So we get 40% of BOD subscriptions. 
Now, sometimes people look at that and they go, oh, you know, I got $15 here or whatever for my bot subscriptions. You can't think of it that way, okay? With bot subscriptions, you need to look at those as you're building a subscriber base. Subscribers do things. Jimmy and I were just talking about this video yesterday where it's about building a thousand raving fans. I don't want to get too far afield with this, but I'm a huge believer in this concept that if you can get you know, even a couple of hundred people who are really dedicated to the program that you're running, whatever that is, then they're going to do things like buy Shakeology, like get the performance line. Like you've got a bot subscriber and all of a sudden there's a new program that comes out and they go, oh, I'm ready to re-engage. I want to do that. I need, I, I need a bag of Shakeology, a tub of Recover and some Energize. Boom, you just made a big sale. That's how you got to look at bot subscribers. Okay, that's a, that's a really important thing. The fast start bonus is related to uh, Shakeology Home Direct and Challenge Pack sales. So those are also the things that get you Success Club points. Success Club, this is another little form of revenue that's kind of hidden in here. I don't know if it's hidden in here necessarily, but if you make Success Club 10, you get, and you're an Emerald Coach, you get good leads. Like people who have already bought stuff, they're going to buy more stuff, okay? So that's a source of just kind of passive retail income, which is unheard of. I don't know of another company that does that, you know, instead of being that guy who spends all your time worrying about how many sales Beachbody stole from you, focus on how many customers you can pull from them that are just going to buy stuff without you having to do anything. That's, that's a better way to look at that whole concept. So the fast start bonus, essentially, if you sell in five, in five weeks, there's a rolling five week period. If you sell five challenge packs or five Shakeology home direct or some combination of those two things, you get a hundred dollar bonus. Okay. So that's going to get you success club. First of all, uh, if you're selling challenge packs, if you sell five challenge packs, it's going to get you success club 10, which is going to get you into that lead program I talked about, right? There's a lot of upside to that. And you're earning 36% commissions instead of 25% commissions. And then at the end of that five week period, you get yourself a nice fat hundred dollar check, which adds up. And it's such a quick one. And think about this, and specifically as we get to the team bonus side of things, and Dave and I were just talking about this today mm -hmm. as we we're prepping for this call, was not only is this for you, but this is something where you can sit down with a brand new person. And instead of just going, go make success club, or we, you know, our goal is to get to Emerald, you can literally lay out with them, you know, and I've shared this with my team and I can, it's a video I'm happy to share uh, with the Fit Club Network is Melissa McAllister and I sat for brunch one day and went over this concept of find your five right. and literally just laying out to a brand new person that if you can find five in your first month, you're going to make your initial investment to become a coach back plus plus. And I don't have those numbers right in front of me, so I don't want to give you wrong uh, how many times you'll, you'll double, triple, quadruple your money. Um, but then if you start looking down, you think, okay, even if as an emerald, you know, let's take the U plus two concept where a lot of people, Hey, it's going to be a spouse and somebody else. Uh, but you get those commissions, you know, back. And so the fact that you're going to get a commission on each one of those uh, challenge pack signups plus the hundred dollars. And hopefully in the midst of finding your five, two of those are coaches and you get to emeralds. So going back to what Dave said is your emerald, you hit success club 10 then Beachbody starts giving you leads. And these are people that they continue to purchase. You're going to make another commission. And hopefully you're reaching out to your new customers. And I understand that sometimes that's a bit like digging for a needle in the haystack. Um, I just recently started making a commitment that once a week I sit down and in my back office, it's everybody that's made an order. Everybody that has an email, I go down and put down and they get a quick bomb bomb video from me. And for those of you who don't know, bomb bomb's a, a video messaging service inside your <coughs> Gmail. And it goes something like this. Hey, my name is Jimmy. Thank you so much for your energized purchase. I hope you're really liking it. I don't go a day without it, usually in the morning and in the evening. If we haven't met, I'm your beach body coach. All that means is I'm a customer just like you. I lost a hundred pounds using these things. I just wanted to say thanks. Do me a favor. I would love to know what program you're doing. And if you'd like access to my, my little Facebook group where we have some accountability and check-in, just email me back. Take one minute, that's all. Thanks. And that one's even long. I probably do it shorter than that. And I found my last two coaches that way. Yeah. It, you, know, you bring up the needle in a haystack thing. No one would go looking for a needle in a haystack. 
But if I told you there was a five carat diamond ring in the haystack, you'd go look for it. Yes. <laughs> That's what this is. Okay. And, at, yeah, and, as, and, and here in a minute, as we start getting the team cycle bonuses and going back to what Dave had talked about, uh, this concept, this video, it, it, and you can look it up, Google it. it. It was an article written a while ago called A Thousand Raving Fans. And there's interviews on YouTube. There's I sent Dave one that was like an animated like <coughs> synopsis of what it means. But I think a lot of times, really specifically in today's society, and I find myself as someone with a pretty decent sized social media following, chasing some of these other coaches and I'm like, oh my gosh, they have so many more people than me. Is they You don't need and if you really follow some of these concepts we're going to talk about when we get into team building, you don't need thousands of people. You don't need 10 K following on Instagram. Right. I was told a long time ago and, and uh, Bob Lacito, who is a very successful coach uh, in our team and in your organization, correct? Yep. That really, uh, and I don't know that it was his concept, but he was the first person I ever heard say that if you can find five people, five people that are as into this and work as hard as you do, You'll change your financial future forever, five. And really, it's, a, it's and again, we're about to get into some of these team cycle things, but it's just a matter of taking care of the people when they come in. So, you know, if you're a huge recruiter, awesome. Just make sure you're taking care of those people. But I also want to let you know, you can bring in two to five coaches, you know, a month. And if you really dig in with them, and help them get some early wins and help them get that first retail sale or maybe help talk to that prospect with them. Because I think a lot of times that I totally have fallen into this trap of, we think the job ends when we got the sale and it doesn't. And we get the coach sign up when they sign up. That's when our job starts. And, and I, I reference this book a ton. My team is so sick of me talking about it and the presentations themselves inside. It's a dated book. It's a 30 year old network marketing book. Some of the presentations, you may seem a little dated to you on napkins, yeah. but the concept of going to work when you sponsor somebody for them is not dated. And it is how you build big organizations because right now, as we get into the team cycle bonus and the matching bonus section of this, you're going to understand that most weeks, and I didn't get this answer from Dave, but most weeks, there, there are weeks I literally make 20 bucks. 40 bucks in retail commission. And I make thousands of dollars a week. Why? Because I have built a team of a bunch of people doing the little tiny things over and over and over again. And when you understand this cycle bonus and it takes, it's long game, right? The nice thing about retail, retail, you can give yourself a raise any week you want. If you're willing to talk to enough people, if you're like, damn it, I am strapped for cash. Awesome. Go knock on doors, message a ton of people on Instagram, Go through your memory jogger list and start asking every aunt and uncle and cousin who they know that might want to get in some shape. You can do that. That's short game. And there are times that that's vital. You want to talk long game where there are times, and I'll use the analogy of when I had both kids by myself here for three weeks, I couldn't really work my business as much and my paycheck didn't shift. Mm -hmm. because I had built a a team. So I'm going to segue that, Dave, if you want to kind of introduce team cycle bonus. I noticed you don't have any toys out like Michael Neiman's video, but I know that you can, for those of you who watch that, I love <laughs> the video. Um, because I feel like team cycle bonus is where people's eyes start glazing over time. Yes. And it's not that complicated. You just have to, it's, it's like anything else. You didn't know how to drive your car at one time. You didn't know how to use a zoom video thing at one time or, or Facebook. It's just learning the rules. Yeah, it, it, it is. And, and team cycle bonus, I mean, I think, you've, you know, there's a lot of great reasons to build team cycle bonus. What, what, I, what I really want to encourage you to do here today, look at all four of these and go, not, they're not mutually exclusive. In fact, they all dovetail on each other, right? <clears throat> and then with all the little other things we're talking about, successful leads and, and the fast start bonus and all that stuff. Team cycle bonus, really simple. Just keep it again. Like, how do you start? Simple, right? If somebody asks me, what do you do? And I tell them the retail thing. And then I tell them, and I teach people how to do that. And they said, well, what do you, how do you get paid? What's the bonus structure look like? Well, now, first of all, if somebody asks you that, <laughs> you know, they're interested. People don't ask you that. When was the last time you asked somebody what their bonus structure of work was? Unless you wanted to go. <laughs> all right. So, you know, like, don't get, in, don't get intimidated by those questions. It's not a setup for them to bomb you with a pyramid scheme thing. It's them showing you they're really interested. It's one of the reasons you need to understand this stuff 
is so you can sit down and you can say, hey, on a retail basis, let me show you just some quick numbers. Here's how much you paid for your mega chart, chart starter pack. Here's how much you can earn in commissions. It's going to take you blah, 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 X, Y, Z, and you're paid and you get your thing for free, right? If you can do that kind of quick math for people, it, it makes a difference and inspires a lot of confidence in decision making. So the Team Psycho Bonus is the same way. I would tell you, go watch Michael Neiman's video with the little superhero figures. It's in the back office, the coach online office under training and business building activities or whatever that section is. <clears throat> but here's how, here's how I like to think of building a team. You have two rooms full of people, okay? And you need to put people in both rooms, right? Everybody, everybody has two legs. You have a right leg and a left leg. Nobody's two legs look exactly the same. <laughs> when you first get started, one of your legs is probably going to be maybe already growing, <laughs> and maybe it's going to grow faster than the other one. Everybody builds a little different. I'm not going to get into the technical nature. I need a whiteboard and a whole lot of nonsense for that. If you're interested in like the geeking out on that and multiple business centers, which is another way you can earn income on Team Cycle Bonus, is you can sponsor yourself if you get to a certain point. We'll get to that in a second. But we have two legs that you have to build. It's two rooms full of people, and you need to put people in both rooms. Okay, that's how you build a team. You can't build everybody on one leg because you won't advance in rank. And if you don't advance in rank, you can't take advantage of team cycle bonus. So these two things are really, really tied together. Let me just talk briefly about how that kind of works. Every time you have 200 points of volume, and like, for example, Shakeology is 90. So every time you have 200 points of volume on one leg and 100 points of volume on another leg, you get what's called a cycle. Depends on your rank is what determines whether you, uh, how much you get paid and whether you even get to enjoy the cycle. Because if you're not an Emerald coach, team cycle bonus is not for you yet. Okay. Master retail, bring some people onto your team. You get one on each leg or one in each room, however you want to look at that. All of a sudden you are an Emerald coach and now you're eligible for team cycle bonus, right? That's $14. Every time there's 200 points on one leg and hundred points on another, it's $14. If you're an Emerald coach, it's 16 as a ruby and 18 as a diamond. I had to confirm the ruby thing because hardly anybody's ever a ruby. Everybody just, most people just skip right over to diamond. So you can see, it doesn't sound like much, right? You're like, oh yeah, well every time, so there's got to be like three Shakeology sales and, you know, a Shakeology sale and like some bars or something in order for me to make 14 bucks or why would I be a diamond coach for 18 bucks? Because that's not how it works, okay? It works like this, is that there's, you know, a couple of thousand points on one leg and a couple of hundred points on another one. That's usually the way most people's legs are going to work. You're going to have one that's quite a bit stronger than the other one. So the multiples, it's not one cycle a week. I don't make one cycle at $18 a week. If I did, I wouldn't be doing this, <laughs> right? Or I'd be living in a hut. You know, it, it's, it's, it's hundreds of cycles every single week. And the beauty of our compensation plan, I do want to get into this carryover volume thing, Jimmy. I'm just going to go there because I think it's super valuable. Okay. The beauty of our compensation plan is that as long as you don't go inactive, okay, you can fall out of rank and bounce around. As long as your account doesn't go inactive, meaning you don't have a 50-point order. If you don't have a Shakeology Home Direct order, you're wasting your time anyway because you can't make Success Club. Like, just get on Home Direct, okay, for 90 points, of whatever you use. I use a recovery form, I use a performance line and Shakeology, but whatever you use, all right? If, as long as your account doesn't go inactive, all that volume that you don't use stays there. It's called carryover volume. And if you go into the main, the, the opening screen on the Coach Online office, there's like that dashboard. One of the little tabs on the dashboard is volume. It's profile, team, success club, volume, earnings, leadership ladder. If you click on that volume thing, It'll show you how much carryover volume you have on each leg. Like most people, I've got very little on one leg because it all gets used up and I've got a ton of it on the other leg. What does that mean? I've got so much carryover volume on one leg that every time there's 100 points on this leg, I cycle. Every time. So every time my team does something productive, and obviously the bigger the team, the more people, the more you teach them how to grow and change and help customers get engaged with our program, the more volume that gets created. Every time that happens, I'm just chewing into the carryover volume. 
Okay. That's one of the real beauties of our comp plan. And, and the way Jimmy talked about it, I think is exactly accurate. What'd you say? It's like the keys. It's like a bank account that you don't have a code for or something like that. Yeah. It's your savings account that's there that you don't have the access code to. The, the other way that I've, I've put it in before is it's, and it's amazing to me how sometimes I can sit down and show somebody how much money they're sitting on and it doesn't always move the needle. I, I, I don't understand it. As someone who, is, and as Dave said that if you're in a leg where you're, and what do we mean by that? That means you pop into your back office and you see coaches in your organization and your downline that you didn't put there, right? That somebody from above the team put, but you, you're in a better advantageous position than I have. In 11 years of this, I've had two coaches put in my downline and they're both inactive. Um, and so it, it almost makes me mad when I sit down and I talk to somebody and show them what they're doing. And so, um, and, and I want to give you an idea. So this is, can I share my screen real quick, Dave? Yeah, I wanted to- yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take you into my second CBC because this is where I know I have carryover. So you pop in here, right? What you want to do is go to monitor my business. Actually, if you look at it, if you look at it on this screen, it comes up better. I mean, you can look at if you want to look at the carryover volume there, you can, but it, it's just the technical report. Like the one here, we're under volume right there. That's where I always look at it. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. I go to monitor my business and go to that one. Either way, you, you can go either way. It's just when right. you get there. Um, so I tend to go here, and like I said, if it and so right here inside monitor my business. It shows team volume, carryover volume, running commissions. So I go to carryover, carryover volume here. And this is what I teach my team to do. So it's these two numbers here. And like Dave said, usually one is really big. Now, if you're brand new, you may not have anything yet, right? So I, I'm kind of talking to people that probably have been in for a hot minute. Yep. But, but, but what does this number mean? And this is the way I figure it out is you take this number, you divide that by 200. Right, because Dave explained. So if these were my my cycles, right at the end of the at the end of the week, every time you can take two hundred points from one side and one hundred points from the other, you cycle. Yep. One of those rooms is going to empty out first. That's where the carryover comes from, right? Whatever, like let's say room A empties out, everything in room B gets pushed to next week as long as you stay active. That's why it's vital to stay on your home direct. Plus, if you're not using our products on a consistent basis, why would anybody ever purchase something from you you don't use on a regular basis? You know, it, it never fails to me where somebody's like, well, I have eight bags of Shakeology and nobody's buying it from me. No shit, Sherlock. Why would anybody buy anything from you that you don't feel is a necessity to drink every day? It's a shake. It takes five minutes. It completely changes your life and your health. So back to this. So for me, and this still drives me nuts, so what I do is I take, as I pop up my calendar here, 129,550. I divide that by 200. And then what did Dave say? As an emerald, it's $14 per. As a ruby, it's 16. As a diamond, a diamond and above, it's 18. So I take that number and I multiply it by 18, and I am sitting on almost $12,000 right there. That makes me want to go work. And so you're like, okay, so what do I do? How do I get that $12,000, Jimmy? That's a great question. So for me, look, right leg on my second CBC is the one where all the carryover is. So I know for me, I need to get recruiting on the other leg. I need to put people there. Not only just put people there, it's not just about bodies, put people there and then help them get wins. How do I sit going back to this book? How do I sit and get them a quick win? How do I build their confidence? You know, and, and for any of you that have ever listened to one of my in Dave's trainings before, it's a stat that I like to bring up a ton is I learned from Eric Quarry, if a new coach gets in, and, for, and so this goes back to stop just advertising the discount as if there's no work. Because it the stats say that if somebody that gets in as a new coach in their first six months, if they earn zero dollars, their retention rate about sticking around is well under it's under 20 percent but if that same person makes one i repeat one dollar that retention rate jumps up to almost 80 mm-hmm. percent so is it worth your time instead of going and saying oh i need to recruit 50 coaches in a month okay what if i recruited 
25 and helped each of those. I mean, and again, I don't recruit 25 coaches in a month, but I know people that I, I was just talking to Melissa McAllister. That woman's a machine. She's awesome. I can't do what she does yet. Um, but what if, regardless of what that is, that number is, instead of saying it's always about more, no. what if I took my time to bring in those three people that month and then helped each of those three close to challenge packs? Maybe that's in a group text. Maybe that's on something like Zoom talking to their people. Maybe that's in a group. Uh, you know what I love is when my coaches put me in a group Facebook messenger and says, hey, this is my sponsor. I'm kind of new. What questions do you have? Because I can pop in or, again, the power of video, I go in and use the little video thing. And I'm like, hey, Billy, so glad that you're talking to Jenny. Uh, let me know, you know, and I'll ask a question or two. And then that way it's kind of that no like trust. But if I can, and you know what else it does? If my new coach hears how I talk to somebody, it takes the scariness out of this. They're like, oh, you just talked to them. It wasn't about here's your script and here's your cut and paste. And, it's just me asking some questions and saying, well, would this make sense? Hey, you don't have enough energy. Would a pre-workout help? Would a, you know, whatever. And so what I know in those legs, and, and, and I always think that the best thing as you're looking at your organization is you either want to be a two to one ratio, right? Where one side is twice as big as the other. Because then the goal is not to have carrier. The goal is to, to cycle as, as much as you can in a week. Yeah. And this is a conversation Dave and I had a long time ago was, and I brought up, you either want to be even where they run out at the same time, or you want to be two to one. Mm-hmm. And that way you're not leaving any money on the table. And I, I know sometimes this can get a little confusing. So please feel free to pop any questions in the chat box here. Um, I, I would encourage you to go watch Michael Neiman's video. I, I think it's a little silly and I don't like the way it sort of, you know, characterizes our business as playing with action figures, but the math is there. And he explains it in a really, really simple way. Um, one thing about carryover volume and that, that analysis that Jimmy just did, I have found this, I actually just did this with somebody uh, like a couple of weeks ago where I, she's been a coach for a while and has just been a Shakeology person and she's kind of finally ready to get going. You know, And what I tell people with that discount thing is I don't want you starting any training right now. <laughs> like your training, do you, know, you, you need to know how to use the shop button. You know how to use the shop button? Okay, then you know how to do what it is that you want to do here. When, If and when that changes, I need you to come to me so that I can help you understand it. One of the first things I will do with them is explain the concept of carryover volume and show it to them. Because if this woman had been a coach for almost two years, you know, and just consuming her Shakeology, doing her thing, right? Loyal customer. <laughs> she then had like hundreds of thousands of dollars of carryover volume. It was like $225,000 of carryover volume. I just did that math for her and I was like, look, that's just sitting there waiting for you to claim it. It's just there. And her jaw just dropped. She was like, what? You're kidding me. I mean, we did a call just like this. We got on Zoom. I said, hey, share your screen, go here, click that, do this, click that. And I'm like, that is your carryover volume. Like, look at all that money that's just sitting there waiting because you've been a loyal customer for two years, you know, and, do you want some of that? Here's how you get it. You know, here's how you get it. You get to Emerald coach first, you start building a team, you start building out that volume on the other leg. And every time those people do something and make some sales, you'll, you'll start dipping into that carryover volume. Again, if you're brand new, probably don't have any, or it's probably very little, but most people aren't brand new in my experience. I mean, you know, they've been around some, on some level, if they're interested in learning something as complicated as complicated but something as advanced maybe as as team volume right so, so that's kind of team volume i see somebody in the chat just posted uh michael's video so thank you i did <laughs> um so the next part from this and again getting getting to rank and things and why i think <coughs> I, I it's important you know and and i had to get over and i think a lot of it came from dave and i working with bo eason is there became a point in my life where I was always trying to not overwhelm a new coach and like, ah, let me just make it super easy for them. And then I thought, you know, every good mentor I've ever had in theater, voice, trainers, business coaches, personal trainers, they never babied me. Now, they didn't necessarily expect me to be awesome at the beginning, but they said, here's the standard. Right. You, I've come to this mentor, this trainer, this voice coach, whatever, to be a professional, right? So I'm paying good money. And if they say, oh, 
we're here. Now, what they're going to say is, cool, you want the standards here. There's going to be some steps for us to get there, but this is where we're going. So I've really changed some of my language to saying, hey, this whole business opens up at Diamond. Now, I'm going to explain that to them, and they're going to let me know how quickly they want to get there, if they want to get there, if that makes sense to them. And this next one, a matching bonus. Uh, thank goodness for Rob and Chelsea Pearson, because Rob and Chelsea Pearson and I were in Brett and Shalene Johnson's mastermind together a few years ago. And Shalene had us do this exercise because there were, and not everybody was Beachbody coaches. She said, please write out all the different streams of it at revenue and how you get paid. So we're writing out some things and most of the Beachbody coaches in the, in the room are writing, you know, retail, team cycle bonus, all the things we're teaching you there. And then Shalene said, cool, circle the one with the biggest potential. And I'm sitting next to Rob and I'm circling team cycle bonus. And he goes, mm -mm. Mm. and he comes up and he circles matching bonus. And I'm like, what? And what we really didn't touch on is team cycle bonus. There's a cap depending on what you're ranked. And if you go back to the images that, that they showed, there's a long chart right there that shows you what you can make a week. Now, doesn't mean you make all this. So Dave and I are very different situations. He's in an organization where capping is really a pain in his neck. And it happens a lot. I haven't sniffed a cap in 11 years. So again, everybody's legs and organization look different. But at certain ranks, you're only allowed to make so much. Why? Because early on in this business, there were Emerald coaches making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. They recruited two people. They happened to be in a good leg where other people were doing the work and they were just taking money. And corporate said, uh, this is going to be like a black hole that collapses on itself because we can't pay out for that. So what they did is they started putting caps. So as an Emerald coach, this team cycle bonus, we're talking about, hey, you're going to make $250 a week. Yep. Now there's certain people at Emerald 250 a week. They're like, what? That's an extra thousand bucks a month. Yep. I'm, you know, that's awesome. You know, and as you go up, there are caps matching bonus, which we're about to teach you about. And there's, and this, again, Dave said it so well, this all dovetails on each other. What matching bonus is, is at diamond, technically at Ruby, you actually can't make a matching bonus at Ruby, but nobody ever teaches on Ruby. So I'm going to tell you at, at diamond, and this is a then I'm going to go back to why you want to get your new people wins, why you want to help everybody get to Emerald as fast as possible. Because, <laughs> Mary, that's funny. Um, <laughs> um, so at Diamond, everybody that you personally sponsored that's Emerald or above, that also cycles, that earns a cycle bonus, you get a 10% commission of that. Now, when this first starts those numbers are little little like hey here's a couple like literally here's a couple extra bucks yep. you know and I, and I guess that's why I didn't necessarily think like oh well this matching bonus is kind of bogus yeah but what if you have an organization like Dave has and he cycles a ton and he's making thousands of dollars a week in team cycle bonus and his sponsor gets 10 percent of that also a reason why it's pretty smart to sponsor your spouse because that happens with me. Kelly as a two-star diamond coach on a strong leg um, makes a pretty decent chunk of change uh, in her. And so when she cycles, we get to double dip as a household. She makes that great team cycle bonus and my CBC that sponsored her makes 10% of that. Right. Um, so again, also another reason why I bring somebody in, I want to get to Diamond, and I want to bring somebody in, and I want to get them to Emerald as fast as I can and show them the beauty of Team Cycle Bonus. Because again, guys, Tommy Migrant used to say this so well. He's like, if you'll help people build to where they can't afford to walk away, you yeah. show them how to make money with this, right? It was the Emerald coach that's just paying for their two spots but not understanding how to duplicate from there. That person starts going, man, I'm paying for three business centers, like, me, my wife, and my grandmother, and all their Shakeology, this is costing me money. Like any other business, if it's costing you more eventually than you're making, you're probably going to bail, right? So how can you, you know, and I've heard Milan Jensen talk about this, and, you know, some of the coaches that were here from a, from a, from a very long time ago talk about being an Emerald factory. Get them in. How, how do you get them to Emerald? Because, again, going back to Dave said, success club, the leads, the customers, the cycle bonus, 
things start opening up from there. So with this matching bonus, you know, I start making, you know, as a, as a, as a one-time 15 star diamond coach, those things fluctuate as well, like rank and things fluctuate. But there was a time where I had 15 personally sponsored diamonds and I'm making a 10% bonus of everything they're cycling. Some have huge organizations and that was actually pretty nice. Some little, but money is money. And so I want to make sure I know that I'm capitalizing on everything. And so hopefully one of the things that you're getting out of this is don't simply turn and burn. It's not about bringing in a ton of people and saying, good luck. Because I, and I only talk to you because I done, I've done that. There were years in my business that I did that because specifically I'm going to speak to you self-starters for just a second. It's hard for us because we're like, I figured it out. Why can't you? You know, I look at somebody like Mary Shrank who's in here. Before I could even have a conversation with her, that chick had gone through the entire back office, done all the trainings. Like, she's a unicorn, and I love her. <laughs> there aren't a lot of unicorns out there that need a little more nurturing and a little more, again, if you can get a win for them. And that doesn't mean you recruit somebody and give it away. I've done that too. Don't do that. That makes a lazy downline. They teach them how to fish. Do not throw them fish because they go, well, Jimmy's just going to give me another fish. Right. So what else do you want to add to, to matching bonus? Yeah. So one of the, one of the, the, one other reason I like this little chart, right. It illustrates Jimmy's point really well here. You've got a diamond coach who has six personally sponsored coaches. So matching check bonus only personally sponsored coaches, not everybody in your downline, the people that you brought in who uh, collectively earn $1,500 in team cycle bonus in a week. And that's $150 matching check bonus for this coach. Okay. So that's a nice little example of how, Hey, there's an extra 150 bucks. Nobody's going crazy here. 100, 500, 200, 300, 100, 300. It was the numbers there, but there's six of them. And that's 150 bucks based on what you, you just teaching people how to do it. The other thing that sometimes people ask me, this doesn't come out of their check. Okay. You're not taking anything away from them. This is Beachbody going, they made $100, you get $10. That's the, and it doesn't come out of their check. Some people ask a question about that. So it doesn't come out of their check. It's just, again, it's, it's a leadership bonus, you know, is what it is. It's, it's that you're recruiting people. Again, this is another reason why, like in the example I gave you near the top of the call, where you have a coach who rises up and does more than you, Right. And if you don't have your mindset right, and you don't have your head wrapped around this thing, you might sabotage. I've seen so many people do this where they ruin their own organizations because their ego won't allow somebody to be doing better than them. Hey, guess what? Get to dime your coach, you get 10% of their check. <laughs> don't be a jerk. <laughs> like instead, keep them going because that's how this thing breathes. It's the best thing you can do is for people to really get uh, ahead of you. And I think that's that's it for me on matching check. Matching check is like one the of other, the things. The other thing I'm going to touch on real quick as far as building this big organization, and David and I used to work um, with a gentleman who laid this out really well, that it wasn't about, you're going to find, you know, I talked about Mary being a unicorn when it came to learning this business. You're also going to find some people that are amazing recruiters and retailers, right? That really can bring in some amazing numbers. And I know Dave has them on his team. I have a few on my team. And it's amazing. You don't need a team full of those. Those are like, again, those are <clears throat> other types of bonus unicorns that pop in. And what we really learned from a gentleman named Craig that we used to work with is these giant checks really can be made from a lot of people doing a little bit. And that's really, again, this business model is so teamwork. Yep. And so even if you are one of those, Hey, I can retail all day. I can recruit really well. That is, so let's say you bring in 10 plus coaches or you sell 15 plus challenge packs, um, a, a month. It doesn't mean you have to slow down, just help your people learn how to close too, you know? And so where these numbers or this team bonus takes off is everybody just doing a little bit. Number one, they're using the products themselves. Right. And I love the fact that we're expanding those product lines. You want your customers and your coaches to use more products. Guess who gets to use, to use them first? You. Right. <laughs> and this coming from a guy when I first got started, I was like, oh, man, I can barely afford the vitamins. And the next thing I know, you know, I was getting the vitamins and then I was adding this. And then I'm like right now, you know, I, I was downstairs. I'm like Shakeology, Energize, Recover, Bars. 
We get the greens boost, yep. optimize. Like, you know, it's, it starts, it, it continues to build uh, on itself. And it's because I find value because I actually use those things. And the more things I can use and share testimonies than my team does as well, right? So it always starts with you. And if you're just like, hey, I'm just going to use Shakeology, you can do that. It's just going to take a little longer. Volume is built by using products. And that's really what Craig pointed out was, hey, you use them and then teach your people. And if all they need to do is help two to three people a month get started, this thing, it's that hockey stick thing, right? Like, you, I don't know if you've seen that analogy where it's just like kind of a flat line and then it takes off. And that's really what our income did. And <clears throat> as you find the right people, you're looking for those five. You're going to bring in a ton. Not everybody's going to want to do this. Not everybody's going to run off with this. But it's, it's allowing, it's continuing to build it. And I was told one time that if you want like a steady organization, you know, you bring in two to three people a month and get them wins and work with them. Not just bring two, three people and throw them out there and hope, right? We're going to go back to the seed analogy. You go plant two to three seeds and never water or tend them or check them out. They're just going to die in the dirt. You want to like boost up and you want to kind of up your game, bring in five to seven a month and really work with those people. So, and then, and then really quickly, don't yeah, stop, don't huh? stop doing those things. Right. Like it, this is 11 years now. I've been doing this thing. Drew's been doing this thing. I, it's always been two or three people a month. I, you know, I mean, there's been a couple of times where, you know, there's a few more, right. But it's just the, it's just consistent, like over time. And you find those, those five really great people. And if you find those five great people and you tell them what you're doing is you're looking for five great people. Now you have 10. Actually, you've got 50 now because they each, they each, they each you got 25, sorry. Right. You go find five, right? Now, does it build like that exactly? No, of course not. But that's the, that's the concept. That's what you're trying to build for. Those are your goals. Sorry, you're going to say that. And then, I, but I always hear people go, well, you know, now I'm an emerald, now what? Or now I'm diamond, now what? I'll take you all the way to 15 star. Now what? You just keep doing the same thing. You know, and it, it, there's never a time that it shifts. I think people get, you know, specifically things that we run into now. And I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but I think people get a dime and they're like, oh my God, what's my team name now? What's my logo? What am I color? Nobody, it doesn't matter. You know, and everybody here is a part of two amazing organizations where you don't need that. And, I, and there's nothing wrong about building your own culture or anything. I totally get that. These two teams were born out of necessity. It wasn't because we hit a rank and thought, oh, Billy has a logo and a team name. I need one. And I feel like that there's way too much time being put into that when it's just like, hey, do the, do the, keep the main thing, the main thing, right? And you just, this business, it is not easy. It's simple. And it's a lot of rinse and repeat, a lot of rinse and repeat, right? Um, and so, you know, I know we're right in here. And so the last thing I want to touch on is quarterly bonus. And so going beyond diamond, once, so Diamond Coach, you know, and we can do trainings and there's videos on what rank means. It's actually laid out, I think, on that image uh, that Dave gave you as well. But as a Diamond Coach, you personally sponsor at least four coaches on either leg that you personally brought in. One on each of those legs, at least, is an Emerald Coach. So if you continue to do the thing and you help people do what you're doing, you eventually get to a two-star Diamond Coach, Right where you have two diamonds on either organizations and 12 personally sponsored coaches. And I don't want to make this a, a, a rank training. That's probably a different call. Yeah. Um, but at two, five, 10 and 15 star diamond coach, AKA superstar diamond coach, you can get a quarterly bonus. Do you want to explain how corporate saves that and pies that up? Yeah. Yeah. Es essentially what they do. So Jimmy gave you the levels and they're on the, they're on the piece of paper here. It's two star. So you don't get eligible for this unless you get to two star. So what's next? Two star. <laughs> okay. If you're a diamond, two star. That's the next thing. Why? A couple, two, there's more than one reason. One reason is matching check bonus. The other one is you get to open another business center. Somebody in the comments was mentioning about double dipping. I'm not double dipping. I am trip, I'm quadruple dipping <laughs> with five business centers. Okay. Like that's how this thing works. Okay. So but let's go back to, to team to the, I'm sorry, the star bonus. So what corporate does is they take 2% of profits, okay, the overall profit of the company. So the more successful the company as a whole, the more there, money there is in that kitty. Then they split that four ways. So each one of these different levels gets half a percent 
of whatever that 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 two percent was that got laid out there. So the two stars get two percent. So what was that two star bonus? Do you have that number? Uh, this last one. Yeah. I'll keep going. Tell me when you find it. So the two stars get get half a percent. The five stars get half a percent. The ten stars get half a percent. And the 15 stars get half a percent. But here's what's really cool about it. If you're a 15 star, you're also a 10 star. And you're also a five star. And you're also a two star. So you don't just get whatever the slice is that's getting split between all of those two star diamonds. You get all four of them. <laughs> so yeah. what happens is all the two star diamonds go into a, uh, a, a pot, right? And there's more two star diamonds than there are five star diamonds. So if there's 100 two stars, there's 55 stars. And those aren't the exact numbers. There's probably thousands on each level. But there's fewer and fewer, which means that's why the numbers go up and up and up. So listen to these numbers. So this was from, this wasn't the most recent one. <clears throat> this was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, so at a two star diamond coach, that the two star diamond coach made $906.98. And I remember for me, when I ran to two stars, once I really got my head around that number and an, an extra thousand dollars was a pretty big deal to us back then. And I'm assuming an extra grand, you could find something to do with that, right? I never, my business never moved forward until I made a tangible, how is my life different on this side than it is here? Yeah. Whether that's team, emerald, diamond, once I understood all this, I'm like, what, how is my quality of life? This isn't, it's never just about a dollar amount to me. It's what can be done on that side that's not being done right now. Is it less stress? Is it not an argument about bills? Is it not stressing? Is it being able to pay for something for the family? Is it going on that vacation because you know you and your significant other just need some time together? Is it, I don't know what it is for you, but like in this at two star, I knew, okay, $906 happens there that doesn't happen here. So for me, I literally built Kelly's Business Center to Diamond in one week once I got crystal flipping clear on what I needed to do to get that. Because I found one diamond, this guy named Paul had come in. He, shaky diamond, but he was there. And I was like, oh, I'm just, a, I'm, I'm X number of conversations away. This is the way I look at it. I'm X number of conversations away from an extra $900. And so the way they look at these things is you have to, you have to be this rank for six consecutive weeks inside a core, right? And so I'm going to go through this. And so I did a two-star diamond coach, and I don't even know what the year is. So I think this is a few years ago. I don't even know. But you get an example. It was $906. At a five-star diamond coach, you got $2,500. Now, Dave just told you. As a five-star diamond coach, that means you earn $2,500 and $900. You get the five and the two-star bonus, right? At a 10-star diamond coach, that particular quarter, you earned $13,127. We're talking about some scratch now, kids. So you, and again, at 10-star, you get $13,000, $2,500, and $900. And then at superstar diamond coach, the superstar diamond, and I've seen this thing fluctuate a ton. This is actually one of the lower quarters. Yeah. And I may say these numbers and you may glaze over because at times I was like, that money seems silly to me yeah. and impossible. But I'm telling you, if you will follow some of these things, these little things of bring people in, care about them, hug on them, get them a win. The time goes by. 11 years is really, I look at it, I'm like, wow, we've really been doing this 11 years. It doesn't seem that long in these times. The superstar diamond bonus that one quarter was $35,631. $35,000, that's more than some people make in a year. So that being said, if you were superstar that quarter, you were a 15-star diamond coach, and you earned the 15, the 10, the 5, and the 2, for one quarter as a bonus on top of whatever you already earned that quarter, quarter every superstar diamond coach earned an extra $52,000 that quarter. Just, here you go. Thanks for helping a lot of people. And I'm going to go back to Zig Ziglar. You help enough people get what they want, not about you being on the top of a list or winning a contest or getting into a thing. It's your, your work starts when you bring people in, right? And 
you know, I go back to it. There's a Danny Johnson quote that says, if you help, if you, if you build other people's paychecks, you will always have a paycheck. That's why for me, when somebody comes in, I'm like, cool, who can we talk to? How, even if it's just the first energized cell, it's not even a challenge pack. I just want to get them a quick win. They're going to stick around. They're going to see that it works. There, there's proof in that immediately, right? And, and one of the things, Dave, I want to touch on is going back to your initial, initial story about sharing the good seed and why Dave and I, who technically are competitors, work together. Because if Dave shares all his best practices with me and I go kick ass and the company makes more money, Dave sees it back in his quarterly bonus and vice versa. And so I want everybody on this team, I want the, I want the, I want the whole organization, the, the business to win it because it means this company sticks around longer. And like I said, these, why do these numbers fluctuate? Because if there's a higher profit that quarter that Beachbody puts aside, there's a bigger pie to cut from. So that's a, that's, that's quarterly bonus in a nutshell. And it's fun. And you know, it's quarterly, right? So if you take like, like Mary's doing the math in the comments, right? And she's like, holy crap, that's $200,000 just in bonus. That doesn't mean, oh, you know, you don't get your team cycle bonus every week. You still get that every week. If you are a 15 star diamond, can you imagine what the matching check bonus is? If you have 15 yeah. personally sponsored diamonds, you have 15 personally sponsored diamonds. You probably have 50 personally sponsored coaches. Every one of those that earns team cycle bonus, you get 10% of that. And then you multiply it by four. Like I just did a little bit of math. The five-star bonus, including the two-star bonus, because you get both, right, was $13,000 that year. $13,000. What can you do with thirteen grand? What difference does that make in your life? What pain in the ass do you have that $13,000 makes go away? Or is it that you just can't sleep at night because you're not saving any money? And you don't have a retirement and you don't know what the hell is going to happen if you lose your job. Well, here's, you know, take the 13 grand, solve your problem with it, right? What? For finding five people. Like, again, like going back to this power of five thing, you find five people who want to do this as much as you want to do. And you don't stop looking until you find them. You don't stop looking after that either, because sometimes people change their minds. That happens, right? But you find those five people and get yourself to five star. When you can get to five star, you open a second business center because you're a two star as well. You open that second business center. Now you're double dipping. Your team cycle bonus goes up. You build that second business center. Your first business center gets a matching check from it. All this stuff dovetails together and none of them are exclusive. If you can, if you can build for all four of these, you make a lot of money, period. <laughs> you make a lot of money if you can, if you can do it though. But I think it is these steps that we talk about. And so that might be a good, like, let's just kind of recap, right? First thing, retail. Master that. Because you have to teach it. You have to teach people how to do that. So if you don't master it, you can't teach it. I can't teach you Japanese. I don't know Japanese. I got to learn that first. Then I can teach it to you. So that's the first step as a new coach. Master retail. Start to start mastering, developing skills in that area, whatever that looks like for you. And everybody is different. Second thing, get to Emerald. You know, sign your spouse up. Again, Jimmy just told the story. Sorry, your mom can have five business centers. How many do you have? Do you have three? Uh, no. Kelly has two. I have two, so we have four. There you go. Okay. Uh, does that sound better than two or one? I mean, it sounds better than one to me. Four is better in this business. So sign your spouse up and get to Emerald. All right? Get to Emerald. Master retail. Get to Emerald. What's that? Success club. Success Club gets you leads, maybe that fast start bonus. We talked about that earlier, right? Next step, Diamond Coach. Diamond Coach, what happens when you get to Diamond Coach? You have some matching check bonus you can take advantage of. <clears throat> right? What's that? And you cycle. That you make most every cycle as a Diamond Coach. Exactly. See how it dovetail? What's next? Two star. Get to two star. Open that second business. Because two or three is better than one. So open a, you know, get to two star. Open that second business center. Then five star is the next step. Now you've got now you're making thirteen hundred. You're making thirteen thousand dollars a year in just bonus, just quarterly bonus. That's your just extra, right? You know, what's next? Ten star, like, and then you and once you get to that point, mo I, I've run across a few five stars who don't really know what they're doing, but it's very rare. It's very rare. By the time people get to that level, 
they see it and they go, oh, my organization looks like this. And I've got all this carryover volume on that leg and none over here. So I'm going to build it. They, they get it. They see it. What most people never, they never figure it out and they never see it because they never actually go and build it. That, that's the only way to really learn this stuff on an intricate level is to go and build it. And those are, that's the progression and how you work through the compensation plan to make sure you get all four. Again, and, four is better than one. Go. And there are times, and you know, I'm going to speak for Dave a little bit here, that there are times where going for the next rank is your next goal. And there's sometimes, again, depending on carryover, how things are, and this is where everybody's business is unique. I cannot give you a rule across the board that I have talked to somebody as a diamond coach or as a one star or whatever they happen to be that happens to be sitting on a lot of carryover. And for them to rank advance, they're going to have to continue to add to that list. So I, I get really crystal clear with them. Yeah. What's the goal? And a lot of times it does come back to income over, you know, the next jacket or pin or star. And so, you know, I, for anybody in my organization, if you're like, man, I hear I've got, once you've gotten a diamond and you're like, I'm not sure where to build yet is to start my next goal. Please reach out. I will sit and have the exact same kind of consultation as I jump on one of these. I look at your organization and I go, and I always tell you, if it were me, this is how I would build. And I didn't have somebody to do that for me early on. So there was a lot of money that was left on the table because there were times I was building the wrong leg or I was building for rank when I should have been capitalizing on the fact that I could have cycled more. And all of that will come with experience. And there's probably part of this call that your head's spinning just a little, and that's fine. That's why we're going to give you the recording and we're going to, I'm going to encourage you even if this is one of those things that like while you're driving around, you just keep it in the background or while you're making coffee. This is how I learned. I always have something in the background kind of teaching me, even if it's passively while I was learning this business. That's a hundred percent. And the other thing I would just tell you really quickly, because I think Jimmy's point there is, is really true. Everybody's a little bit different. I gotta, I gotta get into your back office and see what's going on. And then we'll figure out, we'll come up with a plan and I leave them with, Hey, this is the plan now. Okay, that's going to change. So when it starts to change, I need you to come back to me and I need you to go, hey, uh, we said we were doing this one thing. It looks like it's done. Is it done? If it's done, let's move. then maybe it is time to go two star. You know, mm-hmm. it changes and it helps to have mentors. You know, one of the things you hear Jimmy say over and over again, and maybe me too, is I was working with, I, he said that like four times today. I was working with Shalene Johnson or Bo Eason, or we had Craig Holiday, or we've had other mentors in this business. I'm the same. I've had a lot of different really smart people in this business who taught me how to do it. Um, that's, that's, you know, not to, you know, toot my own horn or Jimmy's that, that much, but those are the people that you have in front of you, you know, if you choose to take advantage of those things, you know, I, I saw Jimmy just to, I, cause I'm in Jimmy's team page and he's like, Hey, if I get to summit early, who would, who would sit down one-on-one with me? Right. And I, man, I, and I'm like, I wish I was going to summit earlier than I am because I'm getting there like right before general session because it's such a last minute trip for me this year. I wasn't going to go for my, had my son and I were going to go on this backpacking trip with this Boy Scout trip and I'm going now. But I'm like, that's the, like, ew, those people who say yes to stuff like that, man, if that was me, back in the day, man, somebody like Jimmy wanted to sit down and talk to me. Oh, I'm buying. Like, you know, I'm going to keep him there as long as I can. Like, you know, make his double, like, cause I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I need, cause I need to know what you know, you know, that's how we, that's how we learn all this stuff. You know, I didn't, I didn't learn this in a book. I had somebody teach it to me and that's, that's your job as a coach is a learn, B teach, you know, and you've got to, you got to learn it to teach it. It's kind of the, the fundamentals of it, but, um, we got a little bit longer than I than, than, than planned. I'm not going to say we went longer than I thought we would because uh, we could probably sit here at Vamp for a really long time. Anything to close with? This is still shorter than yoga and P90X. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm sure far less like people, man. Far half less people. people on here still haven't done original P90X. They're like, things are longer than 20 minute workouts. Which I did the lift for preview today or the, uh, the B44. I yeah. dig it. Yeah. You pick up big enough weights, 20 minutes will kick your ass. Yep. Um, thank you guys so much. Keep asking questions. Be active in your team pages. Don't wait. I, I had a coach reach out to me yesterday, and hopefully they're on this call, not in either of our organizations. And 
they were burnt out and they didn't know what they were doing. And I said, what's the goal? And they said, well, to make six figures. I was like, well, do you understand? You have a plan. You know, they were spinning their wheels and kind of living in retail space. And I'm like, you're going to have to work really hard to make six figures in retail. Yeah. I said, do you understand? And they were like, no, my sponsor X, Y, Z. And I was like, not an excuse. You got this not to have a boss. Your sponsor is not your boss. Right. And, and this person said, well, I said, I know your upline. I said, you come from one of the most badass teams I know in this whole thing. And she was like, yeah, well, I really haven't reached out to. Don't do that. Don't do that. We can't come chase you. We, and it's not that because we don't care. They're just, there's a lot of children to run after. We're running, a, a, you know, it's, it's, it's like having a big family. And so I know both between the Fit Club Network and the crew, we give you a home base to come ask questions anytime. And we make ourselves available as much as we can, whether it's weekly team calls or, um, you know, just simply asking a question in the page and tagging one of us. It may take to the end of the day, but we're going to be in there. And nine times out of 10, somebody else in the team's going to ask. And, the and worst that's, that's the real point. Yeah. It, what you yeah. just did there. Nine times out of 10, what? Somebody else answers because we built this team culture. Exactly. Um, Not just us, right? There's other people. There's a lot of really great people on both, on both our teams who know what they're doing. And they're, they're more than happy to, I know I'm always happy to sit down with people. You know? I, just, I just find isolating yourself as an excuse it's the worst. If you don't know something about this, yes, Google and YouTube are your two best friends and the team pages also, you know, because there are different ways of building this business. So you can go and probably learn some things. You may get a little different strategy and going into Summit, and I really am closing with this. You're probably going to hear a lot of different viewpoints. It's what can be maddening about this and brilliant because you get to build this however you want to, but you can't make a decision on what's the best way to build for you if you don't understand how it works, yeah. right? It's educating yourself on how the comp plan works, knowing what it is you want this business to be for you, and then building a strategy around it to get there. But you can't build a strategy without the knowledge, and that's really why we wanted to do this today. So, Dave, I want to say thank you for always saying yes when I have some crazy idea. Um, <laughs> this is easier than getting 700 guys in a room, though. Uh, <laughs> And I'm excited to see all of you next week at Summit. Um, and thanks. And we'll get this recording up into team pages and where it needs to be as soon as possible. Yes. And come say hi. Don't be shy. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank you again for your time. Everybody, thanks for yours. Hope this is valuable. And I hope we have helped you grow your business. Bye.